Hi, I'm Wendy Lathrop, and this is another class in the series for GeoLearn. Our session today will be talking about the various forms of floodplain management and what it is. First of all, we need to define what it is that a flood is. That's really a term that's based on human perceptions because we're quite enamored, enamored with our own selves and we forget about other parts of what are, make up part of our universe. When we talk about floods, we're talking about water where humans don't want it. Water where there isn't always water, but it comes up at certain times. So when we have water on the ground that's coming up out of a stream or water that's coming up on the coastline further than what we ex want or what is the usual case, we're talking about a flood. But we have the same situation in our homes. If you turn on the water in the bathtub and walk away from it, and the water eventually comes up out of the tub, flows out onto the, onto the floor, you have a flood. So we have to define what is a flood when we're talking about floodplain management. For that, we go to the idea of what is the frequency of that particular level of flooding, that particular level of inundation. And when we're talking about that frequency, what is the probability of that amount of water occurring in a particular place at a particular time. So when we are talking about that, we in the United States talk about the design frequencies, the ones that we most normally use when we are designing in areas that are going to be subjected to flooding. We need to remember that every surface of this planet, given the proper circumstances, is it is possible for it to flood. It's just what is the probability of that area flooding and what is the frequency of that possibility occurring. So when we're designing, we look at 10-year possibility. In terms of probability, we're talking about a 10% annual chance occurrence of that level of water, both vertically and horizontally. We talk about the 50-year flood, which is a 2% chance. We talk about the 100-year flood, the 1% annual chance, and we talk about the 500-year flood, or the 0.2% chance. So with all of these frequencies, we need to figure out where we're going to start when we look at floodplain management. So the starting point was established based on a study that was done in 1966 that was asked for by President Johnson. He wanted to know what can we do about all of the flooding problems that we have in this country. We had just experienced a big series of floods along the Atlantic coastline in the Gulf of Mexico. Thousands of people were affected, millions and millions of dollars of damages occurred, and the problem was trying to figure out how to minimize those damages and to protect people. In order to do that and to figure out what we're going to guard against, we had to look at what kind of a frequency we're going to look at. And the, the, basically it was kind of a pick one out of the hat and it was decided we would use what was then called the 100 year flood that would be also called the base flood. Base because it is the starting point, the trigger for all of the regulations through our national flood insurance program to be necessary for them to be implemented.